The average American generates more than four and a half pounds of garbage every day. That's about 254 million tons of trash each year. This is the cradle to grave model. Products, often toxic, are made with planned obsolescence and then thrown away into a landfill. Now, imagine a world where products are designed to be sustainable, renewable, and profitable. There is such a concept. It's called Cradle to Cradle. Founder, William McDonough. Cradle to Grave is about an industrial production system that takes things from nature, makes things, and then disposes of them. Cradle to Cradle says, take things, retake things, use them, make them safe and healthy, and then use them again. So we don't put things in landfills and we don't burn things into the atmosphere. What does this mean in practice? Manufacturing products that respect people and the environment. The materials are safe and healthy, they are designed to be used over and over, and they're made with clean energy, clean water, and social fairness. It's a concept more Fortune 500 companies like eBay, Target, Whole Foods, and The Home Depot are embracing. Uh, we do have 9,000 products today, uh, doing just a little bit over $8 billion in sales that we classify as our Eagle Options products. Procter & Gamble is using wind to power U.S. production of its personal care products. Google's green team is eliminating harmful chemicals from its interior workplaces. Making healthier, reusable products is not only good for the earth, but it's becoming a requirement for profitability. A recent Nielsen study found that 42% of global consumers want new products that are socially responsible and environmentally friendly. Consumers, when they think of corporate reputation, they look through the lens of what, what matters most to them, and social responsibility is at the top of that list. Uh, so um, companies with an excellent reputation, they outperform companies with a poor reputation nearly two to one when it comes to saying something positive about the company, perhaps purchasing something from that company, or even investing in that company. So really, it, it really is a business imperative. An imperative that can also be cost effective. We can produce capex savings that are immense using natural systems instead of mechanical and chemical systems for clean water and things like that. Um, and those capex savings are worth a lot because they're instant and they're big. Financial savings and environmental care can go hand in hand. Now that's a win-win for businesses, for consumers, and for the planet. Christine Kiernan for TRT World.